What's up, y'all? Welcome to this episode of Don't Think the Game Thursdays. So yes, I'm telling you, don't think the game. I'm telling you that if you do think the game, you're actually going to become, become a worse player. So let's take a look at what exactly I'm talking about. So when an individual is thinking, someone is thinking about something or thinking how to do something, they are actually trying to remember. So they're looking at something in the past, right? Their attention goes to things that are in the past. And when you do that, you have an inability to observe and be present in the future to some degree. Obviously, in situations, you know, like let's take driving, for example. Someone can be driving and they can be thinking, right? And they have some ability to observe, um, but they're not fully present and not have full ability to, to observe, right? And so when that occurs, especially when we're in a high pace, quick decision-making atmosphere or game, uh, you're apt to make a lot more decisions because you're not actually observing what is in front of you. So again, let's take a look at driving. So have you ever driven a car or have been driving and you start thinking, whether it be a deep thought or you just start thinking about something and then sec seconds, moments, hopefully not too many minutes later, you're, you kind of come to and you're like, wow, I'm not even sure uh, if I ran a red light. I'm not even sure how I got to where I was going, right? So that's a perfect example of you're doing something and while you're doing it, you're thinking. And while you're thinking, you don't, you're not even sure of what is going on or what is in front of you, right? You have lost some inability, some capacity to observe what is actually happening. And maybe if you're not at the age of driving, have you ever been in a classroom setting, right? And your teacher is talking to you and all of a sudden you start thinking about something, you know, whatever that may be in moments, seconds, minutes later, you come to and you're like, gosh, I don't even remember what she said for the last X amount of seconds or minutes. Um, and you get lost in what is going on. So again, when, when someone refers to thinking, when someone tells you to think the game, they're actually telling you to not be present and, and you will not be able, if you do think the game, you will not be able to observe what is actually happening in front of you. So for an example, in a game setting, right? And I've seen this countless, countless times where a player will be driving to the basket and all of a sudden they just run into a defender or they blatantly throw it to the opposite team or they dribble into a trap right and you know from the outside looking in you're like gosh you know how how can they do that and and so when I've been in practice situations or even games and I stop and I and I ask the player what did you see well I thought so and so was going to be there they thought they had presumed or assumed that something was going to happen, right? They weren't observing. And then I re-asked the question of like, no, what exactly did you see? What did you see? And a lot of times they won't know, you know, I'm not sure, right? And they can, you know, get a little introverted and not want to say that because it can be such an obvious question, right? They don't want to feel less. And so that was never my intention, right, to make them feel less. And so I kind of had to get them okay with and comfortable with telling me what they saw or did not see, right? And again, so a lot of the times it's, you know, I don't know, right? And so they're thinking, they're trying to think what they should do next. They're trying to figure out before something happens where one should be. And so simply would redo the drill or I even had drills where I just had players learn and drill and work on observing right because that is this that is the first step to decision making and using judgment not thinking if you have to think about something that you need to do on the basketball court you don't know it well enough and that's not a knock but that's just a true statement that if you have to think about a play, you do not know that play long well enough, right? And so you need to take the time to know it better, right? And so again, going back to step one, having the ability to observe, 
right? And what does observe mean? It's just to look, to look outward, to see what is actually there in that moment in time, right? Not to what you think is going to be there or what should be there, right? Because that can all lead to mistakes. Great, someone missed a screen, someone missed a cut, someone wasn't where they were supposed to be. I throw it anyways, because I'm thinking that that's where they need to be. So again, don't think the game. Being a better decision maker, being a higher IQ basketball player, right? These things can be taught and these things can be learned, right? And going back to another statement I hear all the time, I mean, I hear this watching um, college games, NBA games. I hear coaches talk about it all the time, you know, a scout. And it, it just comes down to a lie. And that lie is that player possesses things you just can't teach. Now, anything beyond mere just height, which uh, to some degree, I think we're going to get to uh, near in the future that someone can increase their height, but anything beyond mere height can be taught. There is time factor involved, right? How, and the time factor comes down to who is teaching you that skill and how well can they teach it? And then how much energy and willingness are you putting into learning that skill and then applying that skill. But everything can be taught. IQ, toughness, grit, uh, competitiveness, um, being, a, being a good decision maker, being a good playmaker. All of these skills can be taught. So don't ever let anyone tell you you don't possess something that just can't be taught. That this player just has what you will never have. That is a lie, right? And so... Again, getting back to don't think the game. Step one, if you want to become a better basketball player, if you want to become a better decision maker, higher IQ, and just take your game to the next level, be more successful, step one is to observe. Coaches, stop yelling at players for making poor decisions and telling them to think they need to think the game better. Get them to observe. Help them to be better observers. Help them to look make it okay for them to make mistakes in practice situations and be willing to teach and the and have the know-how to teach any skill whether that be mental technical or physical so we have a lot more to talk about on this subject but again don't think the game know the game have certainty with the game and i look forward to giving you some more insight make sure you check out check us out at courtsidewithjewels.com and all of the Shoot Like a Girl apparel, you can catch that on our website again, www.courtsidewithjewels.com. And make sure you subscribe and like to the YouTube channel.